Alright, hey guys, Eric here from Nomadic Fanatic. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, we're starting here on uh, Saturday night. So we're doing the uh, beef, it's what's for dinner, watching it on the projector here outside as it gets dark. We had hamburgers, just kind of taking it easy here at the RV. So we still don't have a winner. This happened on the last turn. Get a load of this. John Hunter Nemechek on his roof. Sparks flying. But they don't have a winner yet because we don't know. They Whenever they throw the yellow because it was overtime, that's the running order. That's who finished. Look at this. And we're five, six minutes into it. We still don't know here at the stadium who won. Wait. Austin Hill. Wow, what a wreck, though. Thanks for joining me, guys. I will be uploading this video with some Nomad Internet. Link below in the video description. Get that Nomad Air, $25 off. Use my promo code, Nomadic Fanatic. Robert and Jasmine the dog down there. Yeah, we're just gonna we're just gonna hang here and take it a little easy so we can rest up for tomorrow's Daytona 500 and uh, I'll include all of this as part of it. I just missed this wreck live. That's why it's quiet. I'll get back to you. Well, good morning, everyone. It is race day. Good morning from Daytona International Speedway. Uh, we're not gonna be up on the roof all day because Robert's. What is that? It's <laughs> my new toy. It's an automatic caulker. Electric caulker. <laughs> yeah, he's going to be doing some work here, still in the front cap. But uh, this is a great place to see all of the backstretch and the turn three and four coming around. You got to come up on the roof and party for a little bit. We're going to be mixing it up. Actually, first, Robert's going to seal the roof. We're going to go over to Midway on the other side of those grandstands and see the party going on over there for the fans coming into the grandstands. We got our passes. Wanted to point out that I do now have new flags. Although I am rooting on Kevin Harvick and the Bush Light car number four all season, his last season. But let me show you. Because of the awesome experience I had with Spire Motorsports and watching the number seven Corey LaJoy there in the pits, because they invited me, they've also got Ty, Ty Dillon. So I thought, uh, his, of course, there's no wind right now. There will be wind later. I am going to root on Spire Motorsports and both those cars. Uh, Corey LaJoy and Ty Dillon will both be racing in the Daytona 500 and in the Cup Series. And then Corey LaJoy will be doing some of the Truck Series, so I'll be able to root on the Truck Series too, Craftsman, so. Anyways, big, big day. I remember for my first videos, I decided not to bring the motorcycle and the trailer and, and the car. Uh, just keeping it really, really simple, knowing ahead of time that you only get a 40 by 20 foot sight. And uh, most people, when you have your RV and a tow vehicle or the vehicle that towed the, the fifth wheel, you know, you don't have any room. So uh, definitely have a, a nice yard here with some shade. But uh, if I want to go on the other side of the track, we've got two options. We can take the tram, which is very slow, or there's another service called Joyride. I think it's $3 per person and it gets you there a lot quicker without any other stops. It's a direct shot. So we will head up here to guest services here at the end of our loop and see what's going on. Well, never mind. We're going to walk. That line's about four miles long and they're not bringing any shuttles and we haven't seen any joy rides. So we're going to be doing some walking today. Aw, do it for Dale, number three. We are behind the grandstands now, heading over to Midway. There we go. Kevin Harvick, 2007 Daytona 500 champion. Let's make it one more, his last Daytona 500 today. Let's do it, Kevin. Definitely a party zone out here at Midway. Here's the Kevin Harvick Bush Light counter. All right, McDonald's is doing something here. Maybe a giveaway? Let's go see how long the line is. Oh, it's Bubba Wallace. That's awesome. I'm the Michael Jordan team. <laughs> and for those of you who don't know, Bubba Wallace is a newly married man. Give it up for the new man. How does it feel, man? Got the bag. Just changed our last name. 
Good luck today, Bubba. Thank you so much. Have a good one. Check it out. Free fries. Bubba Wallace autograph. Yeah. All right. All right. That's cool. They got little RC trucks. <laughs> and a track. Steering wheels are over there. <laughs> <laughs> you know I'm in heaven, guys. Idahoan Potatoes is here. Taters has a setup with free taters. Check it out. The Idahoan mash a potato whack-a-mole. Let's try it. Push adults. Let's play whack-a-tater. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh yeah, I am the tater master. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so this is another line for free samples. They're giving out mashed potatoes in a cup. These are the easy ones. We just add hot water to them. We're getting close now. Mashed in America tour. Oh, this is cool. So they got the boiling water back there and the different kinds of cups there. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right. Yeah, these are easy, simple. Good RV food, right? Give her a shot here. Mm. Definitely checks out. No taterators. All right, we got solar panel roof here. We're inside the pavilion. Lots of food options, but this place is packed for the 500. Hey, Coke Zero stand with apparently free Coke. Thank you. All right. Awesome. Lots of freebies here at Daytona. Found the Bush Light stand, $4. What a deal at Daytona, right? Heck yeah. Then they got a, a photo op here with a tailgate, Bush Light, Bush Light hat, Bush Light. Sh you get the idea, I gotta get a selfie. Oh, this is the life. We're getting a joy ride back to camp in the infield here. Oh. <sighs> All right, we're back at camp, back in the RV. Tara's checking out her side of the playpen here. We got Jasmine checking it out, and Opie's over here chilling like a villain. Opie dopies. I want them to have some outdoor time before they start up the engines today so they can enjoy the outdoors. We got two hours till they sing the national anthem and get things started. I want to get things started on the roof of the RV, and then Robert and I were thinking about using our fan zone pass for the last day. Go over to fan zone for maybe like second half of the race for the festivities and the big screen and the parties over there. Yeah, and then come back here and do a little post-race. That is our plan. Yeah, there we go. One hour to racing, we got some win. Now you can see Corey LaJoy and Ty Dillon flags waving high. Heck no, I'm rooting for Harvick. Woo! Come on, Kevin Harvick. Win your last Daytona 500. We're on the roof, getting ready for the start. Heck yeah. Wait, I'm cheers getting here in just a minute. All right. Woo! Good. It's good stuff. All right, we're getting ready to start. I want you to see how full these stands are 10 minutes before. I know there's a lot of seats still empty, but you also got to consider the fact that a lot of them are going to Fan Zone, which we are doing in just a moment as well. Want to start the race here off on the roof, and then we're going to go hang out as close as we can to the action. Oh, yeah. Probably going to take this ridiculous Bud Light costume off.
unless you know what it sounds like down here. It's amazing. Never heard anything like that. These Thunderbirds are awesome, man. Coming around turn four for the first official lap. Whoa. Right, we're gonna get off this roof and go head over to a uh, fan zone, maybe grab a joyride, right? Let's go party. Oh yeah. and we're doing green flag pit stops. Oh my gosh, there he goes. Corey LaJoy, he's out. All right, stage one just ended and uh, Harvick number four finished fourth. He's doing good, it's fun, written for multiple uh, cars. Uh, looks like Corey LaJoy and Ty Dillon are not in the top 20. Just looking, looking, there's Corey 25th. All right, halfway done with the Daytona 500 and 29 laps left in stage two. Harvick in third place, looking good. Good. 60 laps to go, we're back here at the RV because this is where I want to be. If Harvick wins, he's in third. Robert's over at our neighbors watching on the screen here. I may go join him because I didn't bring a TV up. 60 to go, here we go. got involved in that one. We're going to a second overtime Daytona. All right, second overtime. Getting ready for the green flag. Here we go. Two to go, maybe. Let's see what happens here. Video, but uh, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. wins the Daytona 500 this year. Woo! All right, it's beautiful here. I am definitely going to miss Daytona. Man. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Way to go, Ricky. But uh, next week, we got to get Corey in there. For Ty. For Kevin. Donna. And just like that, it's all over, guys. It's Monday morning. They just made an announcement over the PA that we got to leave by noon. They're kicking us out of here. What a crazy week it's been. I tell you, most people have left. Robert's already packed up and left. I've spent the last hour packing up all my stuff. You get really comfortable after a week. Uh, but I got to get out of here. Got to get back to uh, pick up my smart car and my Harley and uh, start new adventures. We're leaving Florida here pretty soon. Not before bike week though, but yeah, let's uh, pack her up. Well, I got the two happiest fuzzy butts. So thankful to be away from the races, huh? But you guys did really good. Really, really good. I'm proud of you two. All right, we'll be quiet for a little bit now, okay? All right, guys, you're so sweet. It actually took a lot longer to pack up than I was thinking it was going to take. <laughs> it's, just, it's amazing how comfortable I get sometimes. I don't usually stay too many places for a week, but I boondocked for a week. And I did log a few hours on, on the generator when it wasn't so sunny, but for the most part, Florida is pretty easy. And the weather, I mean, I'll be honest with you, some people love the heat. I still feel like I need a little bit of winter, and pretty much every day was in the 80s there, except for one. And it was a little, not too warm, what am I th a little uncomfortable at times to boondock. That's all I'm saying. Anyway, I'm here at the river and uh, 
<laughs> it just feels good to be out of NASCAR. As much fun as I had, had the time of my life, made so many awesome memories, and thanks Robert for coming there and also helping me with a few RV projects. Again, I'll put his phone number in the video description below if you're looking for some RV related repair work or vehicle work or something like that near Titusville, Florida for the next couple weeks. I need to fill some time before bike week and uh, I got a good one coming guys. Stay tuned. Friday's video, gonna be epic. You guys be well. We'll see you in a few days. Bye-bye.